out with Chris Bosselman on the KDM 890 Adventure R. Chris, how do you find it? It's great Dave, love it. Plenty of power. Um, it's a good bike, good fun. We've just done a little bit of a dirt track down to here. Um, yeah, it's likes getting airborne, likes getting sideways. It's it's well centered um, with the tanks down low. It's really flickable side to side. Um, really enjoyable bike. And yeah, this is our uh, our 890 Adventure R giveaway bike. Um, so basically, if you you know spend, come and spend money with us in the shop, every three hundred dollars you spend, you get an entry. Um, and we've put a whole lot of farkles on it to make it even better than the uh, than the standard bikes are. Now the the funny thing is, because of COVID, this bike has really really low kilometres. I mean, how much have you done on it? A thousand and sixty. Oh, you're kidding me! It's literally just running. Well, let's go through and uh, take us through the features that Adventure Moto have added to this great bike. Sure. All right. We'll start from the front. If that's all right. Yep. So we've got. Uh, Buckbusters handguards, um, protect the levers, give the, the um, rider a bit of protection as well. Uh, we've got double tape mirrors, so these are great, you get more visibility, but if you fall over, these just bend out of the way, rather than breaking the perches over here, because potentially you could break the clutch off or the, or the brake off, and that ends your ride pretty quickly. Um, got a throttle rocker on here. Um, <laughs> So the bike has cruise control, but I, I put these on every bike. I just find it takes a little bit of arm pump out. Just gives you a palm rest. Just makes it a little bit more comfortable for doing longer trips. Not that we've really done a lot on this, but intend to, that's for sure. Um, so down the front here, Dave, we've got the Outback Motortech um, crash bars. So we've got crash bars and skid plate combo down there in, in lovely KTM orange. Um, and it's really good, strong structure. Runs all the way back under the bike. Um, yeah, it gives it a lot of support compared to the, the OEM one. Um, on the back at the moment we've got the shad luggage racks. So we've got a, a range of hard shad luggage that we've fitted to this bike for, uh, for testing. Uh, but on the giveaway bike it'll have the Outback Motortech um, X-frames on it. So they're a great thing as well. We put rotor packs on it, soft bags. All those so these are for hard panniers, these ones? These are for hard panniers. Oh, gee, that's a decent mount. Look is. at that. Yeah, there's Crumps. some serious, serious fracture going on. Yeah, uh, very well engineered, and the, the bags go on on and off easily. Uh, we've had our ADV work soft bags on these as well, so you can you can run hard soft combo depending on what sort of riding you're doing. We've also got the Skags rack on the back. Yep, and these are a beautiful bit of uh, bit of engineering. Really nice, like easy on your straps. Yep. Um, lasts really well. Now I've got a bit of peg envy. I was just looking at those pegs down there. I was saving that to last because I know you had peg envy. Yeah. So these are the IMS pegs. Yeah. Um, and they've, yeah, amazing grip, um, but also really good support, arch support, you know, reduces fatigue on long trips. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, they're a great, great, great addition to the bike. And that seat's looking uh, mighty comfortable. It is, so. Yeah, these are great. So this is a seat concept seat um, for the 798, 90 range. Um, you can see you've got carbon fiber, orange ditching. This is a, a um, gripper top on it. So yeah, it gives you, gives you extra bit of grip. Need that for the power of this bike. Um, probably helps keep your pillion on the back of it as well. <laughs> Pretty handy. Hey, g'day, it's Steve from Adventure Moto. I'm here with Nick Dole from Technic. Nick is definitely the suspension guru we go to when we want to sort out a bike, uh, sort out a bike's dynamics. Now, we've had Chris and Dave Darcy from uh, Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV ride the KDM 890 we're giving away to one of you guys. But Nick, you've got some magic to put on this bike. I have, yep, definitely. What, what are we going to do? Um, one of the main criticisms people have of it is that it is harsh on small bumps. Yep. Um, so we're going to really, really address that um, and while making the bottoming resistance of it improve. So it will both be plusher on small bumps yep. and the bottoming resistance will be better. So if you want to, if you want to ride it aggressively, you can but also on the tar, it's nice and compliant. Because that's what I find is, 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 it's not so bad on the dirt, but I do find on the road, I'm feeling everything. Yep. So that'll be good to see if that, that you can plush that out. Sure. Um, one thing, look, oh, I don't think I want to say too much. I just want to see what you do. Yep, good. Um, and I want to then get uh, Dave and, and Chris to yep. ride it again. Great. Um, and of course, I'll have a flat, take it up to the farm. Um, because it's it's got low K's, we're giving it away yep. very soon. So how quickly can I get this out the door to you? We'll do it today, but how quickly can you get it back to me, mate? Before you give it away. Ah. 
Well, no. I need time to write it yeah, before I, know. I give it away. We will do it fast. All right. So listen, if you've got suspension questions, email Nick uh, at Technic. Um, but by all means, wait until we get this bike back. We'll do a last hurrah on it uh, before we uh, punt it out to one of our customers. Uh, it's only a month, a month and a bit. Maybe two months and it's gone. Oh my God, I've got to ride it first. Fantastic.